Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. It's nice to see you, I hope you're keeping well. This is a re-record of the video that I did yesterday. For some random reason, the video file got corrupted um, in, in some guys and now uh, as a result, I've had to re-record this. We're gonna be talking about Gareth Southgate's Euro 2024 squad uh, selection that he's come up with for the upcoming qualifiers. As always, this video is sponsored by the channel sponsor, 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the England section of their website, where you can purchase some really nice retro gear, guys, as you can see from the icon that's up here, along with Admiral and Umbro track jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts, and t-shirts, so go check those out. Any purchases you make through the link in the description below, as always, I'll be sending it through to the a charity that's based in the Newham area called Iron Supporting Food Banks. They're helping people in the Newham area and the Essex County and further afield for that matter to help put food on their table over the last three to four years and even more so it is urgent now that we help those that are less fortunate than you and I that are really struggling through this financial crisis. So go grab yourself a really nice retro shirt, you'll be saving yourself a few quid in comparison, in comparison to the Wembley Club shop and you'll be helping those that are less fortunate than you and I. So let's break this down let's go to the goalkeepers Jordan Pickford has been selected now a lot of people will say why Everton are on the verge of relegation this season they've been absolutely dire and I absolutely agree with you but at the same point Gareth Southgate said when he was appointed that he wanted to bring a club style mentality to England and as a result of that that's why Jordan Pickford has been picked and others have been picked as well because of how well they've played for him rather than their country uh, for, sorry, for, rather than their club so it's country over club for a change um, also Nick Pope has been selected but it was announced yesterday that he had to withdraw due to an injury and Aaron Ramsdale is also in the squad now personally I can't think of anybody that's an England goalkeeper, or, or an England England nationality, I should say, that is good enough to be in the England squad. I really can't, other than these two. I have no idea who Nick Pope's going to is going to have to be replaced by. No idea in any shape or form. Personally, I know Southgate ain't going to do this, but personally, I would try Ramsdale in the upcoming um, Italy um, game. I really, really would. I'd, I'd rest Pickford. Ramsdale's having a phenomenal season with Arsenal, and yeah, that's how I think about it. So, guys, let me know what you're thinking on the on the goalkeepers. Now, turning over to the defenders, Ben Chilwell has been brought has been selected, as has Eric Dyer. Mark Gui, the Crystal Palace player, has been uh, selected, which I think is, is played phenomenally well for Palace. Yes, okay, they're they're still hovering around the uh, relegation points, but he's he's been phenomenal for him. He really, really has. Reese James from Chelsea, Harry Maguire from Man United. Let's go back to what we just talked about, Jordan Pickford. That's the reason why he's in the squad. I don't agree with it in any shape or form. Luke Shaw's also been selected, as has John Stones. Kieran Trippier, who really deserves it. I think Kieran's had a ph phenomenal run with Newcastle. And Kyle Walker is also in the running. So, yeah, I, th I think it's a very good selection, bar Maguire. Um... You can, argue, you can argue that neither Man United players should be really in the squad. But again, Southgate is picking players that are playing well for him and also the best that he's seeing as well, and given, given the chance to other players. And at the end of the day, that's what that's what it's all about, isn't it, guys? Giving, ch giving players chances. Now, the midfielders are Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund. Makes total sense. Conor Gallagher, Jordan Henderson. I know people are going to have issue with that. But again... He's played well for England, as has James Madison, just about. He's played well for Leicester last season. He's been doing really well again, but again, a team in releg the relegation zones. Mason Mount has had to withdraw due to injury, but he has been selected. Randomly, Calvin Phillips has been signed up, as has Declan Rice. Now, Calvin is probably going to end up playing more game time for England than he is for Man City this season. Um... And it's obvious that Declan Rice is going to be is going to be um, called up, you know. And it's it's just it's um, he, he can do better. Dex, he's not been too brilliant this last few games. He's been phenomenal from. He's been the best player of the team, of course, but um, for his standards, he can do better. 
But again, I can't think of anybody that is going to is going to be a decent replacement for Mount. I really, really can't. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this. And finally, the forwards are Phil Foden, Jack Grealish. Hope he stays on his feet for 90 minutes. Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford. and But he has also had to withdraw due, due to a knock, which is ridiculous. Um... You should never be withdrawn due to a knock. That just basically says, no, I don't want to play for your country. I want to focus on club, which is fine. I get it, but bollocks. Um, and also, Ivan Tony has been selected, as has uh, Saka from Arsenal. Now, Saka makes total sense. He's been fantastic for Arsenal. He's been fantastic for England as well. Ivan Tony. I always say that players need to be whiter than white, and he hasn't admitted the charges to everything that was um, the betting charges, but at least he's he's admitted to most of them. So, but even still, you know he's broken the rules. He shouldn't be making bets yet. But the argument is player. But it's been brilliant for Brentford. 100% been brilliant for Brentford. So is deserved. We were saying before the um, before the previous, you know, the World Cup that he deserved he deserved to go. So we can't say he can't des he doesn't deserve to go now because of his per social personal life. Regardless of it breaking the rules, you know he should he does deserve he does deserve the time to be there. He really really does. Um, but yeah, so again, centre forward um, for England. I can't think of anybody who's going to be able to replace Marcus Rashford. I really can't. There's an, uh, that is an Engl England national. I really I generally can't. There's nobody that springs to mind. Um, so that'd be interesting. Again, guys, put, let us know who you who you'd want in there. Do you agree with the starting this starting squad? You know, obviously it's going to be trimmed down for the qualifiers, and some players are going to be on the bench, etc. Yada yada yada. But um, let us know what you're thinking on this. I genuinely want to know what's what's going on. So tomorrow you will see the my reaction to the Ghent um, draw in the UEFA uh, Conference League quarterfinal draw. Um, it's supposed to be going up today, but as I say, I wanted to be two videos in two days, and I can't have this going and then blah blah blah. Anyway, so yeah, guys, thank you very much for your time. It's great to great to, if you've made it this far. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe. Please share this content to, um because we had a we had two thousand two hundred and forty four subscribers, but unfortunately somebody unsubscribed yesterday, which is probably totally understandable, bearing in mind the technical issues I was having with the videos yesterday. But yeah, so guys, thanks for your time. And I will see you tomorrow when we talk about the Ghent preview, uh, the Ghent, the Ghent draw, and we go into a bit of detail about who Ghent are as well. So in the meantime, guys, look after yourselves, and I'll see you very, very soon. All the best.